took a trip to the Arasi Gorge in Tawada to do some hiking. We also stayed at a nice resort with an onsen, so I'll show you both. Please don't forget to subscribe for more videos on travel, money, and minimalism. We publish a new video every week. Most trips start with a shrine. This one was no different. There was a shrine near the hotel we were staying at, so we checked it out before we checked into the hotel. The lake at Tawada is really nice. It's a nice place for camping. It's a nice place for boating. In the summertime, it was a little cooler. This time of year, we went in the spring. Now to check into our hotel. This was a fairly standard hotel for the layout. Got inside, interesting key. Wanna make sure you don't lose it. Used to have a refrigerator with drinks, I guess. Pretty standard stuff. Shower is the bathroom, toilet's in a separate room, and the mats are on the ground. So this is a traditional Japanese hotel. So it's a hotel like we would be used to as an American hotel, but with traditional Japanese bedding and meals and pretty much everything else. It's just a hotel. And it was raining when we got there, so we assumed that was going to affect the hike a little bit. It was a nice resort. There was a lot of really cool decor around. This gigantic piece right here. And dinner was provided. I don't know that I can explain what everything is. This is sushi right here the traditional Japanese sushi. The rolls are kind of an Americanized thing if you're used to rolls when it comes to sushi. They have those here, they're just not as common. Always chopsticks. That thing burning right there is interesting. I'll show it to you in a minute. It's like a barbecue piece of bread. It's like an apple jello. Honestly not sure what everything here is different roots. This is the thing that was cooking. It is like bread with barbecue sauce on it. It was good, but I had never had it anywhere else in Japan. As we come out, you can see the waterfall they have inside that actually the hot water leads down into the onsen that I'll show you in just a minute. So now we're going to go downstairs where the onsen is. And in onsens, if you didn't know, you do not wear any sort of clothing at all whatsoever. It's usually not even allowed. So there is a female and a male bath. So this is where we went our separate ways. Fast forward to the next morning. It's time to hike. And this is the trail right here, the Arasi Trail. It's pretty long, several miles, many, many miles. We didn't complete the whole thing. Some of the vegetation was really interesting. And of course the water follows the trail the whole time, so that's really nice to see.
There is a bus stop along the route, so you can take the bus to certain spots to start your hike at different points of entry. regulations except someone didn't follow the regulations the vegetation is very jungle like it looks like a jungle which makes sense because Japan is an island. It's really cool to see a different type of vegetation. Well, it rained on us pretty much the whole time, but it was still a good trip. We're glad we definitely still did it, even though it was raining. Highly recommend not letting the rain stop your plans, especially if it's hiking that you're doing. Right now I'm walking back to the car. We've been walking for four or five hours, so I'm just on the road now, getting the car for my wife. She's back there and I'm about to get hit by a car. Hopefully not. Oh, look at that. They went around me. Now these roads are pretty narrow. I'm walking back on the road because it's the quickest path. But anyways, we had a great time. The Tawada Lake, Arasi Gorge, very beautiful area. It's like a jungle version of the hiking I've done in Arkansas and a lot of other states, but a little more jungle-fied. That's got to be a word. Anyways, thanks for watching. I will see you guys next week. Shine, shine. Shine, shine.